Stone got two bad habits. Some law of the cue. Got another 20 minutes of nonstop music coming up. And my special in studio guest is our Mr. Jonathan McReynolds. We're talking about his music and his residency uh, at the legendary Troubadour at West Hollywood. And I was just telling Jonathan, I said, I don't, I don't think I've been here a long time. And I don't think I've ever seen a Christian act at Troubadour. I've seen other things. <laughs> <laughs> what you, other things? Yeah, Elaborate like, on that. Like. I don't even want to get oh, into it. This is like a family show. What shows show. did you go to? <laughs> That's what everybody like wants that. to know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk. Okay. But uh, we're just talking, and you being at the Troubadour, this really opens up uh, the venue uh, for Christian music artists. Yeah, man. And they're going to play these secular... Uh, venues, right? Yeah, man. That's what we've been doing for the past couple of years. We've been going to, we, you know, we do churches sometimes, yeah, but yeah. we really uh, pride ourselves on going into all the House of Blues and even going into all the, the random clubs and, and venues and theaters and yeah, arenas yeah. and everything. You know, we just want to make sure that, you know, this this music, this Jesus music has yeah. somewhere else to live, yeah, you know? Yeah. I'm really just excited about, you know, introducing it to a different world, a different culture, a different mm -hmm. venue. And that's been amazing so far, man. Yeah, uh, just opening up a venue where uh, uh, folks can come in contact with that type of music and yeah. the good word, the good news of the gospel. Absolutely, and Many man. people don't get that. It'd and, be crazy uh, how many security guards and bartenders have, you know, <laughs> you been serious? over there crying. Absolutely, oh, man. man. It's, yeah. it's been crazy. That is powerful. That's powerful. Uh, what, what makes your... What makes your music uh, that makes your music so real that you can relate with any situation that you come through or I, any I, situation that you're in? Yeah, man, I just think that I always start with just my humanity, man. You know, sometimes Christian music, you know, it's, of course, as it should be, very focused on God, his amazingness, yeah. his holiness, his beauty. Of course. Uh, but I like to write almost like an R&B artist where I first start with my problem. I first start with my my issue or my frailty or my weakness yeah. or even my triumph, my victory. Mm -hmm. And then I address that with my faith, man. I, yeah. I address the pressures that come with this life. I, I address the, you know, the failures that sometimes we have and even some of the joys that we have. And I address all of that with Jesus. And so I think people hear that journey and yeah. they find themselves in it somewhere in the first or second verse. And I just really love that ability to just yeah. connect with people like that. You know, it's not an easy journey, this thing called life. And sometimes we get messed up. We get, uh, we get off track and we really don't know how to get on track. And when you hear music like yours, it, 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 something just happens. It, um, it, it gives help. you it gives you hope. Yeah, we got help and we got hope. Yeah. I just want people to know that. What role did, I'm going to throw one at you now. Uh-oh. You ready? What role did New Original Church of God in Christ? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> what, what, where's, where's this bio at that you're looking at, Lon? I, where, where you at? Dude, I You wikipedia you. me. <laughs> I know you, Yeah, man. man. No, that was my home church, man. Yeah. I, I was almost literally born in the back of the church, man. I didn't know you were the a coach again. The process started on Sunday <laughs> <laughs> on the back pew of the church. Right. Real talk. Yeah. Shout out to my mother, Janice, yeah. out in Chicago. But listen, uh, yeah, man, that's that was my home church where I learned to play the drums and the mm -hmm. organ. And, because they give uh, you that freedom, right? Oh, yeah, man. I, yeah. I had Eventually, I had a key to the church. I can go in there and practice whenever wait, I wanted wait, wait, to. Wait, 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 wait. Back up, John. Yeah, man. They gave you a key to the they church? They gave me a key, man. You must have been really serious because they, they only give keys to deacons. Well, you know, <laughs> maybe I was a junior deacon. I don't know. You didn't know it. They gave me a key, man. I used to go in there and play my tracks and practice just by myself, man. Wow. And uh, I owe a lot to them, man. Pastor Thomas Jackson Jr. Yeah. and uh, New Original. And little did they know what was going to happen years later. Yeah, that, man. That is so special. I, little did I know. Um, what role or what lessons did you learn from your mom? Being raised by a single mom, the advantages and the disadvantages of that. Uh, well, you know what? I didn't get, I didn't feel all the disadvantages, man. I think sometimes you grow up and, you know, normal is normal. This is what yeah, I, yeah, this yeah, is what yeah, you know, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, we don't know how broke we are until we start meeting <laughs> rich folks, you know? And, uh, so, I mean, I loved it, man. One thing I learned from her is consistency, man. She was the same lady in mm. church and out of church. Yeah. So that yeah. this whole, like, idea of, you know, hypocrites and all this other yeah. stuff, I don't even get that, man, right. because, right. you know, we're all imperfect and we all make mistakes, but she was always the same lady. And, you know, I try to I portray that in my music as well, man. Yeah, Kirk Franklin said something about you. 
uh, Kirk Franklin said that Jonathan is in fact the new sound of gospel music. Kirk Franklin said that about you. Man, that's the man. And you, this first time you heard of all that? Time. Yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, he's 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 held me high. The CC Winans and the Marvin Winans and the Donnie McClurgans of the yeah, world. Yeah, 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 and yeah, so, yeah. no, I'm just really blessed, man. I, I'm not trying to be the new sound of anything. I'm just trying to do what God just do gave your me. Thing. That's and right. you, everybody can call it what they want. Yeah. How do you hear from the Lord? Jonathan McReynolds, how do you hear from the Lord? Because, you know, with the folks within the secular arena or uh, uh, lack of spirituality, when you say, I heard from the Lord, mm -hmm. and they figure, oh, is this some voice coming out the sky? Or how do you hear from the Lord? I mean, first off, you get still. You yeah. know, most of my songs, and I, I joke about it, but they, they come on the toilet or the shower. <laughs> that's a stretch. No, I mean, that's... <laughs> That's hey man, stretch, I just and y'all can listen to the album and decide what's a toilet <laughs> song and what's a shower song. But um, no nah, man, it, but it's all about stillness, man. This is a crazy world. We moving so fast, yeah, and yeah. you know we pick up the cell phone. It's moving yeah, fast. Yeah, news yeah. moving fast. Headlines, posts yeah. moving fast. You got to steady yourself, yeah. still yourself, yeah. so you can hear uh, when you pray and listen back. And God some, will just bring things to your heart, to your heart and your mind, yeah. things that you may not have thought about, things that you don't even know how you. Understand. That so many times in my songs, I, I finish a lyric and I'm like, "Really? That's how it goes? <laughs> Is that it? You know, yeah." And so <laughs> I almost get to listen to the song as if I were just, you know, uh, you know, consumer or a fan listening yeah. to the song yeah. because he really he gave me that. Yeah. And so just having being that open and and, and watching for that re revelation, man, that's that's what really kicks it off for me. Your talent and the way you write and the way you go about your music is that something that you have to protect because you know within the music business you'll have people say. Well, John, I think you should do it uh, a little bit like this. I think you should put a little bit more of a secular tip on it. I think you should have this. I think uh, this baby over here should be in your video. <laughs> you know, you get a lot of distractions, man. So how do you how do you keep it close to to center? Man, I think you do what comes natural to you, man. A, a tree ain't gonna try to do what uh, the flower does. That's you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like you have to do what you're gonna do. And mm -hmm. yeah, very early on, before I had. Uh, any fans that were out there that were gonna fight for me a little bit, and you know, I, I didn't have KJLH helping me out. Right, you know, right, they right. they wanted me to 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 do something different. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And I just I I held with it, and God, you know, made a way. He yeah. made a way. He yeah. got some champions and some advocates over there. Yeah. And uh, you know, you gotta just do what you gotta do. I can't sing like like Tasha Cobbs. I can't <laughs> I can't do it like you know some of these other folks out here, man. Yeah. I can only do it like myself. But what you have is special. Thank you. Because that's what God gave you. Absolutely. And that's a special thing. That's the same so for it, everybody. It, it, it's your expression that really make that puts that realness into it mm -hmm. where people can say, hey, I, I like that. Yeah. That helped me through a situation. Wow. Yes, sir. If you just joined us, my special in studio guest this morning, uh, Jonathan McReynolds, who are, of course, talking about his music. It's great music. And, of course, his residency at the legendary Troubadour in West Hollywood. Uh, we're going to come back and we're going to wrap up with Jonathan McReynolds. And I want what you think about this question before I go to the break? Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, young folks listening. There are a lot of uh, young musicians and artists and people who are trying to get their music out there. Mm -hmm. What would you say to somebody that's listening right now and saying, you know what, I don't think this is going to work out. I'm about to give up. Hold that thought and we'll be right back with Jonathan McReynolds on 102.3. Valentine's Weekend, February 16th.